Hello, shipyard. Over the course of the summer, service to the fleet has focused on the three tenets of Norfolk Naval Shipyard's command philosophy. Now that September is upon us, we turn our attention to the third tenet, service. It reads, we serve our nation, Navy, shipyard, fellow employees, communities, and families. We are personally accountable to those we serve by our actions and daily service to repair U.S. Navy warships. As you can see, there are many entities to which we are accountable. This responsibility may seem overwhelming, but we consider the significant overlap between these entities and the core values at the heart of our service, the responsibility to serve becomes a worthy daily goal. It's a natural way to frame our perspective when coming to work every day and providing for others during our off-duty hours. My vision of service means that the employees of America's shipyard demonstrate honor with an uncompromising code of integrity, taking responsibility for their actions and staying true to their words. Honorable service often requires delivering bad news forthrightly and making honest recommendations to our fellow shipyarders, even when it may be difficult to do so. We have no shortage of challenges working in our industrial environment and an abundance of projects on our waterfront. Open and effective communications is essential to mitigating our challenges and accomplishing our projects. My vision of service means that the employees of America's shipyard are courageous while performing the demands of our profession and our mission serving the Navy. Courage sometimes requires making decisions in the best interest of the Navy and nation without regard to personal consequences. One such employee is this month's Spotlight, Code 246 Test Director Josh Lundeen, who served personnel to ensure safety on board USS Dwight D. Eisenhower during a recent shipyard period. As you'll read in the article, Josh keeps the safety and interests of others at the forefront of his work. My vision of service means that the employees of America's shipyard remain committed to treating everyone with dignity and care, ensuring their safety and guarding their professional, personal, and spiritual well-being. You'll find more than one example of commitment in this issue of Service to the Fleet, with two employees, Kelby Lilly and John Streeter, going beyond the call to ensure happiness and peace of mind of others in our community. That's what it means to serve. You feel a continual pull to go the extra step, sometimes an entire extra mile, for a cause greater than your own self-interest. With the combined federal campaign season now upon us, this is a great time to reflect on our blessings as shipyard employees and ask ourselves what we can do to better serve others. I'm proud of how our employees find ways, both big and small, to do that. Whether it's the federal women's program, annual school supply drive, the tutoring and mentoring program we provide to local schools, or Norfolk Naval Shipyard's Naval Civilian Managers Association improving the facilities for Craddock Little League, we continue to seek and provide ways to give back. As a full service shipyard, it should give each of you pride and purpose looking at the number of ships and types of availabilities on our waterfront with which we've been entrusted. Let us collectively ensure that these vessels entrusted to us are serviced effectively, efficiently, and carefully. Your service to the Navy and nation is of utmost importance. Service, it's why we chose to build a career at America's shipyard. I'm proud to serve with you. We are a Norfolk Naval shipyard. We are America's shipyard.